Take any pile of real-world numbers, river lengths, stock prices, Fibonacci terms, and you'll spot a weird pattern. Nearly one-third of them start with the digit 1, but fewer than 1 in 20 start with 9. Welcome to Benford's Law. The story begins in 1881. Astronomer Simon Newcomb noticed the first pages of his logarithm tables, those for numbers beginning with 1, were far grimier than the rest. He ran the numbers and published the very first formula for a digit distribution that wasn't uniform. Half a century later, general electric physicist Frank Benford took the idea mainstream. He sampled 20,229 figures from 335 rivers to 5,000 constants and found they all matched the logarithmic rule. Digit 1 popped up 30.1% of the time, digit 9 only 4.6%. The phenomenon now bears his name, though Newcomb got there first, a classic Stigler law moment. Let's test it. The last decade of Singapore company revenues, 12,000 rows. Watch the bar chart bloom. Digit one hovers near 30%. Why logs? Ted Hill's 1995 proof shows that when you randomly mix many common distributions, exponential, normal, even Pareto, the leading digit distribution converges to Benford's. In short, Benford is a statistical attractor. Auditors love this. Fake invoices often cluster around round numbers, 90s, 80s. Run a Benford test, and those spikes leap off the page. A 2024 teaching case walks students through nailing credit card fraud with nothing more than a first digit check. And just this month, researchers paired Benford features with random forests, boosting F1 scores on a live card dataset. But don't go Benford blind. Any dataset with artificial minimums or fixed widths, think postal codes, product IDs, or test scores out of 100, will flunk the law. Small samples hurt too. Thanks for watching. If you love stories where numbers meet history, subscribe to our channel and keep your curiosity alive.